Jim Allen, the uh, president and owner of the Jim Allen Group, is answering another question that we think would be important to buyers and sellers. And that question is, why is working with a strong agent so important when you're dealing with real estate? Well, your other, your other thing I wanted to talk to you about, too, is why is it important to work with a strong agent, but also why is it important to have good communication between that agent and the client? I want to answer both of them at, at once. The reason they want a strong agent, an agent like Tim McBrayer, who works here with me at the Jim Allen Group as a buyer's agent, the reason you want someone who really has local knowledge, um, there's 9,000 real estate agents in the triangle. I'm not saying that all of them are not nice folks, but they don't have the inside scoop sometimes. And I think that the client really wants to know they, they can look online and see what's on Realtor.com or, or they can figure out what's in the MLS. They're looking for the guy that knows what else is out there or not just what else is out there. Is this the best investment? Is this a good neighborhood? Is this solid? A am I going to be able to plan my family here? What kind of kids are in this neighborhood? The schools that are nearby, are they the right types of schools? You know, what's the shopping situation locally? They're going to want to know all of those elements. When we start working with a buyer, it's not about, okay, I want to go find the right square footage for you, or I want to go find the right price. We're really finding the new place they're going to form their home. And when we're trying to provide someone a home versus just a place to live, then as an agent, and especially a strong agent, you know, it may be that the most important information they get for us during the course of the transaction is what veterinary to take their kids, to, I mean, take their dogs to. It, it could be something that simple, or if they've got kids in preschool, it could be, you know, which one gets them prepared to go to that next level. Or, or it could be, you know what, which grocery stores have the best meats? What, you know, where do we shop for this? Where do we shop for that? Being a real estate agent and finding people homes isn't just about finding a house. It, it's about being prepared, being able to answer the questions on the rate issues. You know, do you feel like rates are going up? You think they're fairly stable? You know, knowing the loan products that are out there, having lender partners that you involve yourself with that really can put people at ease because it's such a big decision in terms of whether you buy or don't buy. And you want to have the availability for that person for every one of their needs. So the when I say a strong agent, a strong agent to me, first of all, is one that listens. And, and really hears what that buyer is saying they need. But it's also being strong enough to say no. If the buyer's needs can't be met in our local market versus just riding them around willy-nilly and making them look at everything and keeping on pushing and pushing and pushing, being able to say, you know what? What you're looking for really doesn't exist in our market. Here's what we can get you as an alternative instead. But this is reality. Now, buyers don't always receive that well initially. And over time, they may work with two or three other agents. And they're like, you know what? Gosh, that agent at the Jim Allen Group was telling me the truth to start out with. Maybe that's what I need is that good, solid, strong agent. One that really knows the market and understands what I may need.